We turn now to an update on the condition of a Richmond police officer shot in the line of duty. Earlier today, Officer Sierra Burton was transported from Miami Valley Hospital to hospice care in Richmond. 2 News reporter Allison Gens is in the studio right now with the latest on what we know about how she's doing. Allison. Zach, two days after being taken off of life support at Miami Valley Hospital, Officer Burton is home in Richmond in hospice care. Now we were at that procession from the hospital this afternoon. Around a dozen police vehicles lined up with lights on outside of Miami Valley Hospital Saturday afternoon. An escort to send Officer Sierra Burton back home to Richmond from the ICU in Dayton. Richmond Police Chief Michael Britt shared with the community on Facebook. Officer Burton was transferred from Miami Valley Hospital to a hospice facility in Richmond. His post reads, quote, She will continue receiving excellent care and be surrounded by her family. The family is grateful for all of the community support, but does request privacy at this time. Please be respectful of the family's wishes while they spend this precious time with Sierra. Around 11 a.m. Saturday, in a separate post, Britt said Burton is alive, writing, quote, Officer Sierra Burton's condition is still largely unchanged. She has not passed. Burton was shot in the head in the line of duty on August 10th when assisting officers at a traffic stop. She spent more than three weeks fighting for her life at Miami Valley Hospital. Burton was removed from life support Thursday after doctors declared her injuries unrecoverable. Once the doors to the ambulance were closed, a salute from members of her law enforcement family. And sirens from the cruisers signaling her send off home to be surrounded by her loved ones. In a release sent to press, the police department shared that now that Burton is home in Richmond, there may not be daily update posts with the community, but updates will become available if there is a change in her condition. In the studio, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.